Today, I'm gonna to talk really quickly about the service at paypal.com email scam. I saw this today in a Twitter thread from user at zero XDF underscore. And here, as you can see, the user said, I got a really convincing fish today from PayPal. And when I say from PayPal, the from address is service at paypal.com. I knew right away that I didn't have a PayPal account for this email, so I was sure it was fake. It took me a minute to figure out what I was looking at. And here's the next tweet in the thread. The email looked like things I've gotten from PayPal before. The colors and templating were good and the email address was from the legit PayPal domain. And I expanded the email here. As you can see, it says service at paypal.com, service at paypal.com, which is an official email address for PayPal. And it says here, invoice updated, billing department of PayPal updated your invoice. The words billing department of PayPal sound a little bit scammy, right? Amount due $1,000 USD, view and pay invoice. Just wanna pause here real quick and say, if you receive a text or an email and it looks like it's suspicious and and it probably is from a scammer, never click links in these kinds of messages. They will go to phishing attempts. The scammers will try to get their hands on your financial data, personal information, credit debit card numbers, whatever it may be, social security number, you name it. And in this specific scam, obviously this is all centering around PayPal. The Twitter user here then went to the page. They clicked on the link, I suppose, and it said invoice from billing department of PayPal, $1,000 due. Over to the right here, it says balance due $1,000, pay $1,000, see right here? Now, as the Twitter user pointed out, the scammers likely know you're not going to just click pay and be done with it. You're going to go down here. See this? There's a phone number. Now, I've blacked out part of the phone number because I don't want any of you guys to call this number because it leads to scammers. So here, here's the scam. The scammers present you with a scary bill of sorts. You know, they, they want you got to pay $1,000, right? Oh my God. They lead you to this website and it says you have to pay here and you don't want to do that. You want to contact somebody, right? If you're someone who's easily influenced, vulnerable to these kinds of scams, you want to try to work this out because I don't owe a thousand dollars. Who can I talk to? They want you to call this phone number right here, supposedly for a Walmart e-gift card. And there's a phone number and you got to call this phone number. That phone number goes to scammers. Great tweet here in the thread. Make sure you talk to the less computer savvy people in your life about this kind of stuff. Help your family and friends out that might fall for this kind of scam. Make sure that they don't accidentally give away lots of money to a scammer. This is just one of many scams, of course, that are going around. This tweet here, the important thing I always tell people never call a phone number you get from an email, text, or phone call that could be suspicious. If you think the account may be hacked, go get the number from the official website and call that. Same goes for links to login pages. So don't click links in scam emails or scam texts. Don't call phone numbers that appear in the messages either. They're going to go to scammers. If you think that any kind of a message, whether from PayPal, whether it claims to be from a bank, whatever, if you think it might be a scam and you it looks a little suspicious, don't interact with the email. Close it out. Delete it. Call the official phone number or or contact that company through an official website that you didn't find in the email. Don't call a phone number in an email that looks like a suspicious email or a scam. Find an official phone number. Let's say Bank of America is used by scammers. Go to bankofamerica.com, find the official phone number there, call, make sure everything's okay with your accounts if you want. If you are worried because maybe you did interact with one of these messages, maybe you clicked a link, maybe you called a phone number and you're worried, is my account okay? If it's PayPal, go to paypal.com or open the app, make sure your account looks okay, change the password, set up two-step verification. And if you want to, go to paypal.com, submit a support request, try to contact the company through an official way on paypal.com, not through a website that scammers give you in an email. And just ask, you know, tell, tell them what happened. Ask them, is my account going to be okay? I think I may have given out some of my personal information. And hopefully they can help reassure you and resolve a situation if you are in some sort of a predicament that needs resolving. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to have discussions and ask questions down below in the comments. If you click the thumbs up button, then that might tell Google and YouTube, hey, this video has some credibility. It might help people. That's, you know, that maybe will help get me higher in Google search results, higher in YouTube search results. And that might help one person not get scammed. You clicking like might help one person. So again, feel free to click like. And again, thank you so much for watching.